Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Today's video, I'm gonna share with you eight really fun, simple, cute uh, Valentine's decor ideas for your tier tray. A lot of the items did come from either the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Rama. And for those of you guys who are new, welcome to my channel. Here's where I love to show you guys how to do these really fun DIYs. I love to do haul videos and shop with me videos. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button Button and give it a big thumbs up if you like what you see. First DIY, this is super simple. This is actually just a makeover that I did. Uh, I did this DIY back in the spring last year and I got one of those little garlands from Dollar General last year and I painted it pink and I put home on the other side. Now, I mean, I did like it like that, but you know, of course me, I wanted to jazz it up a little bit more and I thought, hey, it's already pink and what better time to use it than Valentine's. So just using those stickers that I use from the Dollarama, the ones that I use for the faux books, I just took the heart and just placed it in the center so I'm really not doing anything as far as repainting it or anything and I got this jute um, ribbon from the Dollarama they had three different sizes per package and I'm just going to create a simple bow using some jute twine to tie the center and just cutting off the excess and then I'm just going to hot glue it on top of the heart. So this DIY is probably one of the easiest ones because the fact that everything was already painted the way I wanted it anyway. Now I'm going to show you guys everything at the end of the video um, just because it's all on my tear tray and it's going to be in my coffee nook as well. So I'll share everything with you at the very end. So this DIY, again, very simple. I'm just taking one of these tea light holders from the Dollar Tree. I loved it because it was beautiful. It was a very iridescent and I loved the different colors to it as well. And then I picked up some of this ribbon from the Dollarama and it's so sheer that I actually want to wrap it around the jar twice just because otherwise I feel like you couldn't see the ribbon if you know what I mean especially if there's a candle in it you just wouldn't see it so uh, anyway I'm just going to hot glue the first strand and then I'm just going to hot glue the piece where I cut and remember just to always make sure that you're gluing in the same spot on both pieces so that way the glue is only in the back and not in the front if you know what I mean I've had these beautiful silk ribbons. I think they were on a gift bag, believe it or not. And I thought they were so pretty that I just, when I, um, I think the bag was not, it was like a store bag or something. So it had uh, the store logo on it. So I just got rid of the bag, but I kept the ribbon because it was so beautiful. And I'm glad I'm able to use it now. So I'm just gonna take one of them and wrap it around the tea light holder. And then I'm just gonna create a simple bow in the other one and just gonna hot glue it on to the center of the candle holder. Easy peasy. And all I'm gonna do here is you'll see, I just got the two pack of tea lights from the, or they're not really tea lights, those are like the votive candles from the Dollar Tree. I already had one open, so I just put it in the candle holder, done. <laughs> all right, moving on, next DIY, taking one of those small four by four canvases from the Dollar tree this is super simple just to peel it off with your fingers once removed there was a little bit of glue left on the frame so i'm just taking one of these sanding blocks from the dollar tree and i'm just gonna just go over it very gently just to to remove any excess so I didn't show you this part, but I painted it white. You guys let me know. Do you want me to keep showing you how to paint things? You let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I gave it two coats and I used my hot uh, air, hair dryer to um, dry each coat in between. Now I'm just taking the canvas that was on the frame, cutting it to size and just hot gluing it back on to the back of the canvas. And I found these beautiful, gorgeous paper flowers from the Dollarama, $1.25 each for a package of six and I'm just cutting off the um, the wire and I'm going to hot glue them into the center of the frame. So this will take a total of nine paper flowers and just to make sure that everything is center I actually make the the first row starting in the middle and then I'm going to work my way out on both sides that way it just looks um, even on both sides. Thank you. 
super cute as is i mean this can stand up on its own however i just wanted to enforce it just a little bit so or reinforce it just a little bit so i'm just taking some of these wooden clothes pins taking them apart and just using one as a stand for the frame and i'm just gonna hot glue it to the back of the frame and i'm just going to reinforce it with just some more hot glue around the outside where i glued it initially again it's so light it's not going to break off if i didn't do that part <laughs> anyway this is a super cute diy i'm just showing you another little thing i did last year similar idea but i used the letters so i thought they were super cute all right again moving on next one i took these cute little felt hearts from the dollarama now i tried to bleach them because i wanted to see if the pink would go lighter i left this overnight guys i am not lying it did not change color whatsoever so just to let you know you can't bleach felt unless there's another trick you guys know let me know it did not work for me <laughs> so i figured i'll just stick with the hot pink um, hearts as they are and again this is such a simple diy taking these package this is a two pack of these winter trees from the dollar tree and i'm literally hot gluing the hearts on like they were ornaments super simple guys this is super customizable. I'm just putting a whole bunch on the bigger one and just putting one little one on the top of the small tree. Again, you guys can use the red hearts. You can use whatever color you want. You can even just make polka dots on the tree. It's just something super simple. <laughs> Again, moving on this. I only had two more of these or two of these trees left from Christmas. You guys know these bottle brush Christmas trees and I've seen somebody else do this on YouTube and I wanted to do this myself so again I'm not taking credit for this this is somebody else's idea so I bleached the trees you can see that the, the trees are already changing this took no time at all maybe five minutes before the trees became completely white and what's nice about the bleach it did not affect the gold base which I love because I like the gold base I wanted to keep it like that so here it is all bleached out and I'm just going to change the trees to pink. Now, I did this technique and it did not work. I just did the white and red mixture to make pink and added water. It was so diluted, guys. I didn't, I should have added, added this much water. Anyway, it barely did anything. So I all I did was just remix some more of the white and red paint together just on a paper. And that was it. And now I'm just going to go over and paint each one. And you'll see at the end, I have two different shades of pink on on each tree so I went over one with that uh, pink mixture that I made and then I just went over another one with the Waverly chalk paint in the ballet slipper so how cute eh <laughs> and this one goes out to my friend Carrie this is your idea Carrie you told me about these could I could use these as little uh, tear trays so I'm taking the heart wood cut out from this package and I already painted it white as you guys saw again I'm not going to show you unless you want me to show you how how to paint things but I gave the edges just a nice little sanding to make it look a little bit more weathered and rustic and I had another one of these garlands so this is what the, this garland looked like before when I did the first initial DIY with a pink garland but I had some spare beads left from the other garlands so I'm just going to put these three beads on a skewer and I'm just going to go over and paint them with some Waverly chalk paint in the ballet slipper and here they are remember this is from the U.S. but I know uh, Canadians we have like the deco art from the Dollarama or there is the acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree as well. So just gonna hot glue to each corner, the, the tip of the heart, and then just the two round parts of the heart. I think this is super cute, guys. Such an easy DIY. Remember guys, all these are really super simple DIYs. <laughs> so again, you guys saw me haul this mason jar. You guys saw the other ones that they had too. They had the red truck. They had a little sloth. And I can't remember what the other one was. Was it a unicorn? Uh, anyway, I'm just removing the sticker from the back. It did come off fairly easily. And if it doesn't, guys, remember there's goo gone or you can use your blow dryer and heat it up to let the sticker come off a little bit easier. But it did come off no problem. So just removing the wire. Now remember you guys can use that heart wire for something else. Get some wire cutters and you can cut it right off. And I tried so hard to remove this heart embellishment on here. It did not come off guys. I couldn't even get my 
fingernail under there to remove it yet alone the screwdriver like come on anyway so i just kept it on there turned it over and i'm just going to paint the other side nobody's going to see the back anyway right <laughs> so i'm just standing off the excess uh sticker and making it a nice smooth surface and i'm just going to go over it with a coat of waverly chalk paint in the ballet slipper So once that coat of paint is dry, I'm just going to create the lid of the mason jar just using some white acrylic paint from the Dollarama. And using the same white paint, I'm just going to go over a couple of the corners just to make it look like there's light shining on the glass, just to make it look like it's glass as well. And just to give the lid a little bit more detail or definition, I'm just using some of the silver acrylic paint from the Dollarama and just making it look like there's some lines in the lid of the jar. So I skipped this part by accident. I guess I forgot to press the record button. Anyway, I had some of this leftover pink rope from a long time ago. So I had just enough. So I just wrapped it around the top of the mason jar and created a simple bow. And I'm just going to show you, I just painted some of those mini felt hearts uh, from the Dollarama. I painted them a, a little bit of a lighter pink because I didn't really want that hot pink on them. And here they are. And I'm going to just hot glue them to the edges of the string. Now, a trick here is I'm just going to take my hot glue gun mat, put it under the string so that way the hot glue won't stick to the mason jar. And I'm literally going to attach both hearts to the ends of the strings. And there will be a little excess uh, twine at the bottom so I'm just going to cut that off with some scissors. Like how cute is this mason jar? Last one, honestly guys, this turned out to be a mistake, but it, I recovered it and I'm super happy how it came out. <laughs> this, I tried to Mod Podge the window cling on a scrapbook paper to the back of one of these trivets from the Dollar Tree. It did not work, but look at how shiny it turned out. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to keep the heart because I loved it so much. So I had one of these old picture frames that I did last summer. I'm gonna just reuse it and trace out the heart with the pink scrapbook paper. And it's just gonna be a new, picture in my picture frame how simple all right this is my coffee bar all set up for valentine's i just love it so much so of course you see everything that i've done for the tear tray so there's the roses and the trees that i did and also the tear tray isn't it cute <laughs> And then of course the tray riser that I have. I did a DIY with this in the past, in the spring. I did it when I did my uh, walk-in closet and it was black before, spray painted it pink and there you go. And then of course the, little ta um, the garland that I made and then there's the mason jar. And then of course I just put some heart um, straws in that uh, water jug that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And there we go, I've got my, um, the rest of my hot chocolate mix. It was in a Christmas one and I still had some left over so I just transferred into a smaller jar um, just so I didn't have to waste any of it. And just putting this picture here. Again, I have this phone jack that I don't know how to hide it so it's still, you can still see it just ever so slightly but I thought the picture can cover it up a little bit. And then of course I did the ribbon on our coffee and sugar bowls just to jazz them up a little bit and oh my gosh this is my favorite my mom got craig and i this for christmas the keurig and i love it so much because it's dual so you get like the the craft but then you also get just the pods if you wanted to because we are big coffee drinkers here and honestly if i use more than one pot a day i'm using or spending a lot more money than i wanted to so i like the fact that we can still use our regular pot of coffee 
And I thought I'd just put in my favorite Valentine's mug. I just think it's so cute. It's my favorite one. Again, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have a mug for every occasion. So, and look, it's got like little hearts on it too. I thought it was so cute. Anyway, so this is the place where I can put the coffee nook. I don't have anywhere else in this kitchen. And oh yeah, here is my, you guys remember this DIY back in the spring? I think out of everything that I did last year, this is by far my favorite trash to treasure, doing this whole tray with the, um, the stainless steel jar as well. This is like honestly my favorite setup and it just looks so clean and organized. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you can do your own little copy bar or uh, tear tray little trinkets. And uh, yeah, remember guys, I do post videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up, please. I would love it. And that's it guys. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys later. Bye.